what differentiates a secular leader versus a Catholic leader? What values differentiate the two? That's an awesome question, Michael. It turns out we, we discovered this uh, as we were developing our program, that there's no consensus on what leadership is. Really, everybody defines it their own way. In the corporate world, leadership is really management. That's what they mean when they say leadership. In the Catholic Church, traditionally, when we think of leadership, we think of the hier hierarchy of the church. We think of the Pope and the bishops. Um, we tend not to think of ourselves as leaders, lay Catholics. And unfortunately, when we finally think of ourselves as leaders, the scope in which we think that we can exert a lay Catholic leadership is too uh, small, is really uh, limited to parish or diocesan life. So we believe that lay Catholic leadership should be lived out primarily out in the world, in civil society, is what we say. So after seven years of working in leadership with Catholic professionals from all over the, the country and the world, Michael, just recently, it came to me, God gave me a light, and I was finally, and it was so obvious, I don't know how I didn't see it before, but I finally think I can define leadership with one word, my friend, one word. You want to take a stab at it? Well, my first guess would be service. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Being... That's it. That's it. That's the word. It. It's, you know, it, it's simple. People will say things like um, charity, compassion, hard work, discipline. I mean, all of these things are good and they're important parts of leadership. But I am convinced that leadership equals service. And the way that I, I tell people, this is how I can prove it to you, that is precisely the way, the style in which the ultimate leader of all times led. He came to serve, yeah. not to be served. He was a servant leader. And that is the ultimate example of leadership that we have. Yeah, for sure. So I think I heard that maybe from one of your LinkedIn posts or maybe from a book or something that Jesus Possibly. is the ultimate <laughs> servant. So, so yeah. Um, who, what other saints do you think exemplify leadership? Just from our own Catholic tradition, do any immediately come to mind, such as Mother Teresa or Padre Pio? Any any favorite saints no, of yours? I, I think that all the saints are leaders, all of them, every single one. Because if we go back to the definition we've just described, a, a leader is a servant, right? When you think about the saints that, founded uh religious institutions uh right what what they did was certainly leadership they started something and they actually had followers but you don't need to be a founder to be a leader and think of my own uh back from my home country peru saint martin of porres you know he was a saint uh he is a saint who was a very humble person who nobody in his own days would have necessarily identified him as a leader. Uh, however, he, throughout the centuries, has been able to inspire so many people through his life of holiness, through his love and compassion, right? Um, uh, yeah. One that I, I definitely am good friends with is Saint Jose Maria Escrivá. And he is the saint yeah, of yeah. ordinary life. Saint Jose Maria, he actually, uh, that was his message. He dedicated his entire life to, to tell lay Catholics particularly that we're all called to holiness and the way in which we become holy, become saints, is by pouring love into everything we do. And what, what happens when we do that? What happens when we pour all of ourselves into what we do by serving others, whatever, no matter what our profession or career, occupation, or whether we stay at home, with our children, whatever it is we do daily, if we simply put love in it, what is the, the inevitable consequence of that? We inspire others. We provide inspiration for others. And we automatically are leading. The minute we're serving, we're leading.